Hey guys, it's Inka. So today I'll be making this thing called Kohakuto, which is this super cool looking candy from Japan. What's really interesting about these candies is that it actually ends up looking almost like glass. It takes on this like translucent quality, which I thought was pretty awesome. Hopefully they will look as pretty as I saw them to be. Let's get going. Again, this recipe is fairly simple. We only really need three ingredients. We need some sort of liquid. You could use water if you want. I chose a passion fruit pear juice. I figured this would give it a little bit more fruity flavor. Agar agar, which works kind of like gelatin, but it's made of completely different things. It also helps give whatever you're making that jelly-like quality. We also need, as per usual, a lot of sugar. I promise it will be really good and really sweet, like very sweet. We're gonna turn this on and pour the juice in first. Passion fruit, smells so good. And now we're gonna add the agar agar. Stir it gently so then the agar doesn't stick to the bottom. Three to five minutes, I would say. While we're waiting for that, I wanted to show you guys a couple of molds that I bought. Bought these gem-shaped molds. If we poured the candy mixture into here, it would pop out as gems. I also have these. These are actual earring molds and these are like necklace like amulet molds. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is just me trying to be creative. Fingers crossed. Molds aside, I also have just a regular pan that I oiled a little bit so it doesn't stick. This should be... There's some steam coming out. It's time for sugar. This is a lot of sugar. It's like a little mountain. This is still on super low heat. Slowly melt this down. Let the sugar dissolve. Just gonna let it slowly heat up. Alrighty, it is now boiling. It's slightly thicker. We're gonna have to run this through a mesh strainer. Woohoo! Oh, that's good. That tastes like passion fruit candy. It's so good. Okay, so this is the part where we have to work kind of fast. I am actually going to try to fill these up first. Here goes nothing. I don't want to accidentally spill it. As I say that, I spilled it. I'm using this dropper. We're gonna go in with this. I'm like super slow right now. Better safe than sorry. Better slow than sorry. Great sound. I'm just gonna fill up a little bit of these. And then the rest, I'm just gonna pour in here. Now we've poured all the candy out. We're gonna go in with some food coloring to make it look pretty. Where's my food coloring? Oh, it's right here. It would actually be such a cool idea to try and make infinity stones, like in Avengers. Let's do this. Gonna start off with red. Let's see if this works. <gasps> it's so pretty. Orange, yellow, green, blue, then purple. Ooh, there we have the infinity stones, quote unquote, and we can make a rainbow in this one. So I'm just gonna splash these on. Let's try to blend these together. This is looking super nice, guys. It's like tie dye, but like with candy. Same thing with these ones. Oh no, it's already solidifying. I'm just not gonna mess with these because I think I waited too long. So we're just gonna focus on the necklaces. <laughs> just going to add a bit of color and swirl it a little bit, make them look pretty. I don't know if I'm really being successful with that right now. Kind of just winging this. You have to work really fast with these. You just pour it down in a pan. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So what I'm gonna do now is actually put it in the fridge, let it chill for two hours. Hopefully it sets. After it sets, we'll try to pop them out. If they're intact, then we can go from there. Off to the fridge you go, time to chill. Okay, so it's been two hours. I just pulled these from the fridge. They have now completely solidified. It looks pretty good. It actually looks the exact same as it did two hours ago. Only difference is that it's not falling out. Really thankful that it actually didn't fall out. These are also now in solid form. There's a nice shine to it. It's a bit floppy. The trick here now is to take it out carefully and hope that it stays intact. Knowing me, there is a huge chance that we might actually break these. Here goes nothing. Let's try to pop these out. Oh, this is so slowly but surely. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> There we go. Do you see that? Right now it doesn't really look gem-like. It just looks like jello shaped in a gem form. It will get there. But for right now, I'm just happy that it came out in one piece. So we're gonna set this down here. Ta-da! Here's our green one. Basically that's it. We're just gonna slowly take all of these out. Love this one. It looks so pretty. The purple <laughs> really just looks black. Ta-da! Infinity stones, this is my geek moment. Okay, now I'm gonna put this down before I drop it. Ooh, <sighs> guys. Ta-da! That is pretty cool. 
you can see the hole in the middle. We can easily make this into a necklace. The color came out so cool though. Yes, turned out pretty cool. I'm feeling good about this. I hope this streak continues. Our rainbow one. Ta-da! It looks so cool. I'm gonna pop these earring ones out. Ooh, two little teardrops. Hopefully we can actually make these into earrings. So I'm gonna set these here. Now for this one. We just need to carefully try to take it out and I can cut it into strips. How do you take this out? It's tearing apart. No, 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 no. Whew. I tore it. This is what it looks like. This is what my hand looks like. But that's okay. Cut this like so. I could just tear this just to get that like jagged glass effects. So these are our little broken shards. Cut these into square shapes. That is a perfect square shape. I have a small strip left. I have these little flower cutouts that I'm gonna use just like this. This is what it looks like. A little flower. I'm just going to keep on doing these. Cut a couple out. Look at this one. Look at that color. I'm just gonna add a couple more. It's so pretty. Last one. Whew. All right, here we have it. The total amount of candy that we made today. There's our infinity stones, the necklace pieces, our little earrings, and a lot of little flowers, star shapes, rectangular shapes, glass pieces. I think today ended pretty good. The next step really is just patience because we have to wait four to six days for these to dry out completely. Now the drying process begins. I will see you guys in four to six days. We are back here today. The Kohakuto has hardened. I can sort of peel it off. It's like a matte color now. Smooth surface, gently. It feels a little less fragile. See how it doesn't stick together anymore? That's what it looks like now. It actually turned out pretty well. It like crystallized a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this is the sound that it makes now. These bigger ones, it's kind of opaque. These are the trickier ones. Ooh, okay, hold on. It looks pretty cool. Doesn't really look like a perfect circle anymore. <laughs> I'm just glad it's still in one piece. Infinity stones, ta-da! So here we have all of the infinity stones. Nerd moment again. Now that I have all of them, now that we have all these pieces, I'm gonna try turning some of these into actual jewelry. These are some little necklaces. And then we also have some earring things. Not entirely sure how this is gonna play out, but let's uh, give it a shot. Let's just see if these work. Oh, can you see it? Can you see it? Let's see if I can put this through a necklace. Go in, go in, go in. I got it through. <gasps> I am not somebody who normally wears accessories. I am not, so <laughs> not somebody who normally wears accessories. So this is a, how does it look? I did not think this was actually gonna work. This is really cool. Play with your food. Candy earrings, totally edible. I'm just going to take a bite because this is edible jewelry after all. Look fancy and still kept. <laughs> Looks fancy, but it's also very fragile. Maybe we'll try some more, be ambitious, because these worked out really well. As you guys can see, you can really customize this in whatever way you want. Do different colors, different flavors, different shapes, and really just have fun with it. I'm still wearing this, so I'm gonna take these off now and maybe not eat them. I'm really glad I did this today. Really glad we were able to pull it off, and see you guys next time.